Tell me, what does your project do? Um, when the fish go around, um, they talk and they say the, the thing that I write. Which fish moves around? The blue fish. Blue fish? All right, well, play it for me. Show me how it works. Let's play it. All right, make the blue fish. Oh, crab isn't talking yet. Got to put some code on that one. Oh, let's see what he's saying. I am an angler fish. I live in the deepest part of the ocean. I can, oop, I ran out of time. Can you make it come back? I have an antenna with light on it to catch fish. So let's go to someone else. Oh, I am an electric eel. I prey on fish. I have, I electrocute fish. Right, so tell me about the code that you wrote here to make your blue fish move. What's it say? Um, star forever go to mouse. Pointer. So if you move your mouse pointer, your blue fish will follow it? Yes. Nice. Tell me about the code on your anglerfish. When it touches the anglerfish, the anglerfish is, I am an anglerfish. So this is the code. What's this code here do? On start. It starts here, and when I put, and when I put forever here, it takes forever. If touch key then, wait. One second, switch to consume door two, play sound, victory music, until done. Oh, is that how your door opens? Yeah. Awesome. And you need to wait, and you need to press everywhere until you figure out where the math problem is. And when you, know, and when you press the right sink, then the math problem will appear, and you need to get it right, and then you drag the kid to the door, and then if it... It'll take one second so the door can open. All right, it's an escape room. Go ahead, click play and show me how it works. Try clicking on something. Click on the bed. Oh, you found it already? All right, it says, there's your math problem. He has 16 hot whales. His friend gave him three more. How many does he have? You put your answer in. Oh, there's the key. Hey, and open the door. So tell me about your project. So what happened, so this is my project and it is about the solar system. Here's the sun, here is the earth, and here are two spaceships. So this is what happens when I press play. Spaceship, tell me what it says. Taking it to your leader. I learned many things about the earth. I learned that the earth is the third planet from the sun. Next, I learned that the sun rotates once. Oh, so you need more time in there to read it, right? Yeah. All right, so go in and show me where you would change your code for that. So I recoded this one, and then hmm, I Where's your, where would you change that in your code to give it more time? Right here. Oh, uh, only two seconds, that's not enough time. What do you think you need? Mm, what, like, I don't know, 20, because it's all. 20, you could try 20. Tell me how you make your earth move. Okay, so how my earth moves is is on start, which plays. Forever code means that as long as I'm doing this, it goes on forever. Next costume is this, the costumes. Oh, you have three different drawings for the earth? Yeah. Okay. So they change every time they spin. Hmm, how do you control how much often they change? So this is the weight code. So. What happens is that I put in 0 0.3 seconds, and then that's what creates the Earth to go how much I want the stamina to be. So this game is called Deer Cross. It's about this deer trying to not get eaten by a predator, and one of these deers are his mate, and when the deer touches one of these mates, he will get a baby, but if he touches these cars, he will die. He will die. And the the science behind this project is that the bushes get energy from the sun, the deers get the energy from the plants, and the probably get their energy from the deer. So if we have too many deers, we won't have enough plants. And if we don't have enough plants, most of our Animals will go extinct. Right, again? Yep. Hey, your predator moves really fast. Yeah, because I want to make it a little harder. Tell me, tell me about the code you wrote to make your deer move. So what we did was we did 90 degrees negative to make our deer move left. 
and we did 9 degrees positive to make a new move right. We did down from 180 degrees because that's where down goes. So when you go down, it's 100 degrees, and when you go up, it's 0 degrees. Okay, tell me about your project. My, I did a project about an animal cell. So, tell me about your code in the project here. So in my code for my vacuole, I put when the when I click the actor, it it says what it is, and then down here, this is like that when we wait a sec like two seconds, it will change like it will change, and then it looks like it's moving. All right, let's make it big and play it. See what it does. Oh, it gives information. Welcome to my animal, to my cell animation. All right, that code makes it move. Uh, click on. Some